I am Dr. Sri Ram Ramalingam, Medical Director, Pranya Netralaya, located at Artinagar, specialized in cataract, refractive, glaucoma, and squint surgery. Former consultant at Shankar Netralaya, Chennai. Usually, there are various types of eye surgeries. It may be external lid surgery, it may be conjunctival surgery, it may be cataract surgery, it may be glaucoma surgery, it may be screen surgery, it may be vitreolateral surgery. Depending upon the eye surgery, depending upon competence level of a surgeon, various types of anesthesias are available. The most commonly performed eye surgery is cataract surgery nowadays. Most of the cataract surgeries now are done under what is called as a topical anesthesia or what is called as an eye drop surgery, where only eye drops are applied on the eye and the cataract surgery, cataract is removed and intraocular lens is implanted. This is what is called as a topical or eye drop surgery. Occasionally, even a glaucoma surgery can be done under topical anesthesia. Some people even do squint surgeries under topical anesthesia, where only eye drops are used. But in a topical eye surgery, person has to be a little cooperative, person has to not move the eye. Person will not have any pain, not have any sensation. Only cooperation of the patient is very, very important. Next is what is called as a local anesthesia. Local anesthesia means an anesthesia is given around the eye. There are various types of local anesthesia. Depending upon the surgery, a surgeon may decide what type of anesthesia is best suited for you. Local anesthesia may be in the form of what is called as a peribulbar anesthesia where a small injection is given around the eye. This a modified version of it is what is called as a medial coronal anesthesia, where a small injection is given in the medial part of the eye. Here, the eye becomes numb, there is no sensation in the eye, and the person will not be able to move the eye. This usually lasts for three to four hours, depending upon the injection agent that is used. If you want an anesthesia to last longer, a stronger lasting agent can be used. Many of the long duration surgeries are done under local anesthesia or if the person is not very cooperative, a surgery is done under local anesthesia. Usually the anesthesia injection is very painless. Usually patients are scared that about injection being given into the eye. But most of the local anesthesia are painless. So you don't feel any pain. So when the injection is given, person is to, the eye becomes totally numb and will not be able to move. Other type of local anesthesia is what is called as a parabulbar or subtenant injection where the surgery injection is given during the operation where a small opening is made in the conjunctival space and a small amount of injection agent is injected. So the scare of needle does not come at all. So person does not know an injection agent is being given. So this is what is called as a parabulbar or subtenant injection. Many of these injections, maybe a topical, maybe a parabulbar, can be combined with what is called as a sedation, that is to slightly sedate the patient. But most of the time, the surgery lasts a very short duration, may last for 15 to 20 minutes. So sedation may not be required unless the person is very anxious. General anesthesia is usually reserved for young children. Children who requires cataract surgery, children who requires quint surgery or children who requires various other form of surgeries. In these cases, general anesthesia is recommended. But most of the time, general anesthesia is given by anesthesiologist. General anesthesia is not required in an adult patient. Usually, a general anesthesia is recommended in a child. So, various types of anesthesia are topical anesthesia, or injections or what is called as a peri-local anesthesia and general anesthesia. So depending upon the child's or depending upon the person's cooperation, a surgeon may decide what is the best anesthesia suited for you.